Hey guys, what's happening? So, finally found one of these uh, locally on OfferUp. Definitely ever paid for it. It's a uh, NVIDIA 3070 gigabyte. Pretty box. But yeah, right now they're totally uh, scalping these things right now. But you can't find these anywhere. I mean, Micro Center, Best Buy, everybody's sold out. So the scalpers are buying all these things. And this actually one was used though, so it wasn't like a total scalp. But still, 750 bucks. So, um, yeah, I, I've been looking at 30, either a 3060 or a 3070. And what I found out was the 3060s were going for pretty much the same price as the 3070s. Uh, they're basically exactly the same card. You know, there's a slightly higher boost clock or clock on this thing. And it has, like, I think, a thousand more CUDA cores. But, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't game. Obviously, if you watch my channel, um, I do uh, crypto mining. But here is Gigabyte. This is by far my most expensive card yet, so 750 bucks. So I actually normally I have a bunch of AMD cards. Um, this is actually a Sapphire 57 XT, which I, I think is the best actually 57 XT. Um, you know, 93 uh, watts and 55, 56 mega hash, reliably. But um, you yeah, know, one thing I've learned from crypto mining for about the last, I mean, probably a year or so is uh, that you want the three fan card uh, right now it's winter time so it's not super hot but when it gets hot in summertime you know you you want these extra you want this you want the extra heat sink and extra fan definitely helps out a lot so um yeah like i said this is a 3070 my most expensive card so far um i'm hoping to get maybe about a 60 64 mega hash at uh, about 130 watt but uh, I actually have to phase out some of my underperforming cars, like my RX 470. And actually, I, I normally keep them. But I'm using, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm popping breakers. So um, let me bring up, I'll bring up a picture right now of my, uh, uh, my breaker panel. And uh, I only have 60 amps here. And if, as you can see, the box is actually integrated into the wall. So I have to totally like remodel the whole thing. Um, so yeah, I don't want to do that, and also like, so I'm popping breakers, I can't even run my utility, I can't run like, my dishwasher and washer dryer at the same time, so I need to find a way to get more hash power and use less power. So let me show you my current setup and I'll show you what I'm replacing. Alright, so this is actually, I'm going to be putting the two cards, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison, I'm going to have the RX 57, Sapphire RX 5700 on this side, and I have the uh, 37 or 3070 on this side. But uh, if you're looking at this, this is my 3D, I designed this in uh, Fusion 360. It's a 3D printed mining rig, four card mining rig. Um, yeah, totally 100% 3D printed. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put the cards here, but I need to, I'm gonna take out these cards because originally these were doing about 26 mega hash on Ethereum, but they're four gig cards. And they use up actually for the amount of power they use up, you don't get a lot of mega hash. So I wanna fill this up. I'm gonna take out the 470s and maybe start replacing them with the other 5700s right here red devils but yeah so i'm going to move these four cards over to here so i'm going to keep the these are rx 570s four gigs but they do actually hash a little bit better on these plus they're the three fan like i was saying earlier they're the three fan card so they cool a lot better they're well before i install this into my i move the rigs around i wanted to show you this smart plug um i actually made a video about these smart plugs and what you can see in front of you is a screen i have uh, i actually have I bought a pack of four, but these are like essential for like mining rigs. Uh, I mean, I looked at the kilowatt uh, things, you know, where they show the actual screen on there. But the problem with the kilowatt, the the meters, is you can't remote reboot these things. So for like right now, I, I can actually see what my um, wattage is. I can see my wattage, and I can I can reset it. So this is critical. So if you're not if you're not next to like uh, your your mining rig. You need a bit way to be able to reboot it. So if you're tweaking your overclock settings and your system locks up, I don't have to walk all the way back to my mining rig and like pull the power. I can just do it remotely. So even like when I was up in my cabin in Big Bear, you know, my test bench kept on locking up on me uh, for no reason. I think I, had, I, I don't know. I think it was overclocked too much or whatever. And but it allowed me to, to reboot it remotely. So which is pretty cool. But yeah, these are pretty cheap. There's a, I'll put a link down below. We can get them, but. I mean, these are like probably, I think I got a four pack for 20 bucks. But yeah, it's critical. I mean, it, sh it shows wattage. 
and you can just power it off and power back on. I'll show you that when I get plugged in. All right, so uh, this is the number to remember. So right now, with my four RX 570, four gigs, it's pulling 714 watts. I'm down to about 60 mega hash on that rig. So I'm gonna put the two newer cards in that system, and I'm hoping I could save maybe two to 300 watts if I get everything dialed in. Because I'm gonna be using two less riser cards, or PCI risers, and which I think those use about 50 to 75 watt. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna be getting 100, about, I'm, I'm hoping about 120, 110 mega hash between these two cards. So for me, like I said, I don't, you know, I need to, I need to lower my power consumption because I'm popping breakers. All right, so let me show you that real quick. Maybe I'll put my OBS on there, but so as you can see, for about 700 watts, I'm only getting about 65 mega hash. That's a lot. Well, I mean, it's not a lot. I mean, it's, it's bad. <laughs> okay, so before I shut, or before I shut it down, I'm gonna do a uh, driver update. And like I was saying earlier, I need to have, I wanted to get some more um, NVIDIA cards because certain algorithms don't do very well on uh, on uh, AMD cards. So like Octopus and uh, a couple other ones, but so in case, because Ethereum is not gonna last forever, when I go to proof of stake, you know, it's game over for these cards. So uh, I wanted a little bit of diversity in these cards so I'd have more things to, to mine when uh, Ethereum's ended. So if you want any of my, uh, my what's it called, my 3D printed mining rig, or uh, I also created a test bench rig here too. Um, I'll put a link down below on my Thingiverse page. I right, got the cards in. I'm trying to figure out why this one sits lower. You know, it's a lot lower than the other one. See, it's tilting down. All right, yeah. I forgot when I designed this, I actually made it adjustable for that specific reason. <laughs> so let's gotta adjust that. And right, now I got the rig installed. So uh, yeah, now we can do a showdown between the uh, they're not really budget cards, but they're kind of like the higher end cards. But they're kind of like in the same price point, you know, the 5700 and the uh, the 3070. So probably a better comparison would be the 3060 versus the 5700. But all right, here we go. This is the first mining. So right now this is doing 56 mega hash, and this is doing 51 mega hash. <clears throat> this is pulling 93 watts. This is pulling 192 watts. So I've done zero tweaking so far. Hey guys, there it is. Yeah, I'm not gonna put my uh, headset on, but uh, yeah, 56.29 for the uh, RX 5700 and 62.13. Uh, I just used some popular presets that were already on Hive, so I haven't really tweaked it yet, but yeah, 120 watts, 62.13 mega hash. So, but the most interesting thing here is pull about half the power as I was before with the uh, four RX 570s so yeah half the power twice the hash I mean it costs a lot of money <laughs> thousand bucks for those cars probably you know <laughs> a little bit more right? like 1100 maybe but uh, yeah I mean do you gotta it's the future I guess you gotta upgrade your card from time to time so all right guys cool uh, if you wanted to do my 3d printing stuff or my uh, mining rigs I'll put links down below Cool, yeah, this thing is really, really cool, this um, this power meter. So if I wanted to reboot it, I could just, if I lock, if my system locks up and I'm not in front of it, I can just reboot it. So, all right, guys, cool.